Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Oh boy. It's Honda Day once again, you guys. The Honda 1997 NSX Type S Zero, you guys. Mmm. Juicy. In that lovely secret color, there is actually no name for that color. We'll just call it Super Duper Purpley Blue. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot to get my thumbnail. Can't be forgetting that. Give me. <laughs> just let me get my thumbnail. Huh. That ought to do it. The Maximum Speed Challenge. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet color on this car. You have to win this car from an event to get that color. If you're wondering. Right. Top speed owned by the Mines Lancer. Evolution 6. 184.5. 177.2. Still, the time to beat out here is actually uh, one of the Acura NSXs. Pop, 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 pop. You guys can hit pause on any of these screens here. Super soft tires. I forgot to uh, I forgot to uh, actually read you guys the uh, stats of this car. You can hit pause on any of these screens, and we will go back and look at that status screen. Thirty is our transmission setting. O oh, and one as always. And we are going back as I said. Lovely loading screens in this game because. Gran Turismo 3 actually has, like, some of the fastest loading screens in gaming. Um, oh yeah. We were going to do this. 533 horsepower, you guys. 1,079 kilograms. Mid-engine. Rear-wheel drive with that Honda V6 dual overhead cam in there. Mm-mm-mm. Big trouble. <laughs> Yeah, the loading screens in this game, or the loading times in this game, are phenomenal. That little white square there is the longest loading screen in the game. <laughs> and it's only like four seconds. Pretty impressive stuff. Gran Turismo 1 has the fastest loading screens of any racing game, really. Go, go, go! Yeah, Gran Turismo 1's menus are... Well, we are steering to the right. Give me one second. Just give me a second. <laughs> Unpluggy pluggy back in, and we're ready. And my wheels are still slightly cocked to the right. Give me one moment. Okay. Pardon me. Fix my fucking wheel. Okay, are we facing straight now? It's looking pretty dead-ass straight to me, boys. <laughs> All right, off we go. Jeez, we are topping out already. 183.4 183.5 got ourselves a tiny little bit of a downhill incline there that's why I turned inward fourth place am I uh I guess my steering wheel uh, is not sitting straight <laughs> if you know what I'm saying yeah, there it is you guys the NSX Type S zero Right on top of the NSX Type R. By point one. <laughs> at ma 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 madness. Quarter mile. Now, what's interesting here is that the king of the quarter mile is actually the Honda NSX Type R, so. Don't know what's gonna happen here. 10.998, you guys, the only 10 second car out here. We need to beat 11.4. 
Come on, NSX. Go! Drop it, baby, drop it. Go, go, go. Honda life, you guys. Just a little bit of that Honda life. People wonder why I like Honda so much. Bro, it is literally two thousandths of a second off of the NSX Type R. Look at these times. Brother. Look at that, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, the podium is incredibly close. Look at that. Wow, well, there are two 10-second cars out here at the quarter mile now, and both of them are Honda NSXs. God damn. Nasty. Ooh, nasty. Trial Mountain. Is Trial Mountain lights on, you guys? I can't remember if it is. <laughs> if you can't remember. Oh, wait, let's... Laguna Seca up in this bitch? No? Come on. Is Grand Valley's lights on? I think Grand Valley is lights on. I should write down on a piece of paper which tracks are lights on and lights off. It's hard to remember which ones are and which ones aren't. Because some of the reverse tracks are lights on, whereas some of the main tracks, it is lights off. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to remember which one is which. All right, let's get warmed up. Holy fuck, dude. Talk about responsive engine. Did you guys just see that? We just did a fucking little bunny hop, dude. Just from me stomping on the gas pedal there. fucking glow in the dark. <laughs> Some out of nowhere tight handling, though. It's kind of just like sometimes it's really, really tight and sometimes it's not. <laughs> no, I'm not describing my ex girlfriend. <laughs> you set him up, I'll knock him down. 
Whoa, it really doesn't like touching the stickies, I find. What? I turned away from it there. Totally messed up my line. Yeah, it doesn't really like the stickies. The outside stickies... I mean, it does what any other car does on the outside stickies. But touching the inside stickies... Yeah, see, it causes that big jerk reaction to the inside. Only on a hairpin is... Whoa, only on a hairpin is that ever good. Yeah, it seems like uh, my tires are slipping. I'm going to have to... Uh, Come on, come on. I'm gonna have to fuck with the uh, differential a little bit, just a bit, on the uh, um, limited initial. Hey, you hear that noise, you guys? Oh, that's my dog kicking the living hell out of her own head. <laughs> I forgot that I put on her uh, her space helmet, though, so she can't actually hurt herself. I freaking love that thing, man. My dog's, uh, <clears throat> my doggy's uh, space helmet. Space helmet. Astronaut dog. It literally just prevents her from kicking herself in the head. Which is where she does big time damage. Big time damage because she scratches all around her eyes and her nose and her mouth and stuff like that. And like the bottom of her chin and shit. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. It takes a long time to heal and stuff, right? Midfield, you guys. The midfield hot lap challenge. Now again, the king out here at midfield is actually that other Honda NSXR again. So. <clears throat> Wonder what's gonna happen here. I don't wanna say anything because I really don't know what's gonna happen on this one, man. We need 111.6. I know this car is gonna beat 111.6. I don't know, man. <laughs> it might beat the Type R. The 97S0 is the best NSX that has ever been built. That's the one that all car enthusiasts are after. If you have a million dollars and you like NSXs, you want a 1997 Type S0. <laughs> Precisely, like straight up. Alright you guys, or the uh, NSX Type R from the same year. Let's get this. You just want that 97. Last year that they started building them like that. Whoa, easy, 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 easy. All right. Uh, 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 uh. I was gonna make adjustments. I forgot. I forgot. I was going to make adjustments. I had an adjustment. What was the adjustment I was wishing to make? Oh, that was very out of balance. <clears throat> How high are we? Five. That's good enough. Man. Drop that camber. Nope. Mm. 47 for that as well. Alright, right, let's rock. The midfield hot lap challenge, you guys. I just want it to stop being so weavy in the back, and that should solve the problem. Be surprised what a small setting change can actually do to the car in this game. All right.
Crit, crit, crit. There it is. Turn. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 you ain't going that way. Stop it. You fucking bitch. <coughs> uh, we carried so much speed there. <laughs> Sacrifice lap two. Hell <laughs> sacrifice lap two. <sighs> Let me shake, shake, shake for a second here. <laughs> Fucking Honda power, you guys. Get the fuck out of here, bro. 1082. We have a new champion once again out here at midfield, and two Honda NSXs are in first and second right now. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Honda power, baby! You don't even know, bro! <laughs> Honda fucking power! Look at that! Wow! <laughs> Ooh, I knew I had a good uh, uh, pace going in the S0 there. I knew I did. That's why I was like, no, I'm definitely, I, there's no way I'm going to go through the line after uh, a spin out, you know what I mean? I'm definitely going to sack two, go back, and take that sack. That was nice. 108, 246. Ah. Lowering the gap. 
111.626 now. It's the last uh, of the old Cilia's S13s. Oh, hell yeah, baby. I was in the motherfucking zone on that last lap, you guys. <laughs> in the zone. The new champion of midfield. Once again. <laughs> God damn. Well, thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3, man. Fuck, this game's so... <laughs> it's just so goddamn good. You know what I'm saying? I just can't stop playing this game. I really can't. It's just so fucking good. I can play this game until the end of my life. For real. Man. You know what else I could also do until the end of my life, you guys? Freaking love you guys so very much. And thank you guys for coming out, as always. And uh, all that other cool stuff. And I uh, wish you guys the total best. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye, bye.